And we're joined in the studio by Kristen Kaler from IUP Lively Arts on what is a big day for you folks, huh? Very big day. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I had those tickets to Rock of Ages to give away. Boom. They went like They that. went very quickly. Good. That's good to hear. And I had uh, people coming up to me later. Hey, you still got those tickets? Uh, no, got to no move fast. Yeah. But the good news is, you want to go to the show tonight, you still can, right? Yes, you still can. There's still tickets available. And, you know, our ticket prices for this area, if you were to see this show in Pittsburgh or a larger mm-hmm. city, you'd be paying a lot more. So yeah. see it in Indiana. Don't pay for parking and enjoy a wonderful show. Same so, show. Comes right off of Broadway to here. Yep. So, yeah. uh, but it's happening tonight, as we said. It's at 8 o'clock in Fisher Auditorium. Mm-hmm. And I think this is probably going to be... a a lot of fun. The Village Voice called it the most remarkable Broadway experience ever. I think that's pretty strong praise. (laughs) So hopefully, hopefully it'll live up to that. I know that the, I'm really looking forward to the 80s music. Uh Uh, It's one of, just as Mamma Mia is, they call them juke jukebox musicals where they Mm -hmm. build a musical around uh, either songs from a certain artist or from a certain period and Mamma Mia was ABBA's music and uh, Rock of Ages is a jukebox musical built around 80s music so Mm -hmm. if people enjoy 80s music you know some of the songs that I'm one of the songs that I'm most looking forward to is Don't Stop Believin' uh, by Journey that's probably one of my favorites but they have Any Way You Want It We're Not Gonna Take It so it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, I've been told it's probably a good idea to keep the kids at home for this one. Okay. There might be some <laughs> racy, uh, racial, racy material around it, so uh, keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. And I'd, I'd like to thank uh, Indiana, Pennsylvania's Ramada by Wyndham. They're the presenting sponsor for this show, so we're very mm-hmm. grateful to them and to, to all of our sponsors and sure. donors who help make this uh, possible so absolutely so that is a big big show in the ovation series tonight but there's yes. there's still a lot to do this semester isn't there? there's still a lot to do um the semester's winding down uh theater by the grove and music theater are doing a joint production pippin which is also another musical and that's going to be directed by rob greta with uh the music direction by oliver lowe and choreographed by joan van dyke And I think what's interesting about this one is uh, Rob's concept for the show might be a little different from the original uh, and the more recent revival of Pippin, but I think it's going to resonate with audiences of any age. But it tells the story, uh, his twist is Pippin tells the story of a recent college graduate searching for his life's purpose, which he believes is the key to complete fulfillment. Mm -hmm. And while at a crossroads, he makes an alliance with a group of travelers and uh, who take him on a magical journey. And the question is, is the journey real or is it only in his mind? Uh, So a lot of beautiful music uh, and talented performers. And that's happening April 26th through 30th. And May 1st through 3rd. And all those shows are at 730 in Waller Hall. Yeah, the Waller Hall main stage. It's a, little, yes. it's a gem. And a little, it nice is. little thing. It is. A lot of history. Mm-hmm. I love seeing the pictures of uh, the college classes from many years ago sitting in front of it. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the Sound Choices season will be closing with Twitter Leader and Alzheimer's Stories. And that's... Uh, the IUP Concert Chorale under the baton of conductor Ryan Beacon. You know, Ryan's a really busy guy. You know, we talked, I think the last time I was here, maybe Mm -hmm. the time before that, he had uh, conducted the Defiant Requiem, which was amazing. So, you know, keep in mind, this is going to be another amazing production, uh, and it's going to feature the IUP Concert Chorale. And uh, it's got two sides to it. One side is kind of lighthearted, which is Twitter leader. And uh, it's a three-act uh, portion of the concert that is more lighthearted. And it chronicles the cycle of a person's life from youth to old age through 15 tweets. And tweets are only 140 characters each. So mm-hmm. see that translated into music. Okay. And the more serious side is Alzheimer's stories. And um, that's by Robert S. Cohen and Herschel Garfine. So uh, very, very 
very exciting evening with yeah. the IUP Concert Chorale. And that's happening on Sunday, May 5th. And there is art all over the place in <laughs> Indiana. Uh, we have going on concurrently right now, we have the 2019 MFA thesis exhibition, which is happening uh, in the KIPP and Annex galleries and the University Museum. So in all the art spaces on the uh, IUP campus. Mm -hmm. And that's happening now through uh, May 4th. And that's featuring the exhibition work of MFA fine arts candidates from the Department of Art. And uh, also going on right now is the University Museum goes downtown from our walls to your home. And if you're somebody who is looking to build your art collection, maybe you're a new uh, friend of the arts and you've always thought about owning a piece of original artwork, mm -hmm. this is your chance to do it. The University Museum uh, is bringing their, this exhibition, uh, and it, this has been something that's been happening annually for a while, at the artist's hand. They're taking some pieces that are going to be available for sale, uh, and the artist's hand is at 732 Philadelphia Street in Indiana, and that's happening right now through May 13th. There you go. Take home a piece of art. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. So the, so that's going on now. And even as we get to the month of May, there's something new coming then as the semester winds down. Yes. We will have the 2019 BA and BFA exhibition, and that will be happening in the KIPP Gallery. And that is on the first floor of Sprouse. And mm -hmm. that's an annual exhibition that showcase, showcases uh, artwork from the university's graduating art students. Yeah. So, so all of that is still to come. Phew, yes, that's a lot, right? <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. And then it, it, that brings the whole season to a close. It does. And, and it gives you a chance to look back. And I'm looking at, at what this season has brought to us uh, from Spamalot uh, to the Pittsburgh Symphony to the Johnstown Symphony Orchestra's Messiah, which uh, was, I thought, really underrated. They were really good. Fantastic, yeah. right? Olita Adams, of course, uh, her concert, The Sweet Remains, and... Uh, uh, there have just been show upon show upon show, uh, and uh, and now you're putting together next year's schedule and working yeah. hard on that. Definitely. There's still a lot of work to be done about that, and if people are interested in what we're going to be doing, they're more than welcome to give us a call or send us an email mm -hmm. and let us know that you'd like to receive a season brochure. Yeah. We'll be happy to put you on the list for to receive one over the summer. Now, give me a timeline of uh, when do you think uh, that you'll have the schedule put together? And uh, uh, brochures will be going out at the beginning of August, mm -hmm. and uh, if you're a current subscriber, we'll be renewing them uh, before the brochures go out. Okay. So, if you're a current subscriber, uh, about mid July, they'll be doing their renewals. Very good. Yep. And, and so, as you put this schedule together. Uh, I always try to pry it out of you, and I'm never successful at it, but I, I just feel it's my obligation to try. Uh, give us a hint, at least a hint. Well, Shows. how about formats? Like, you know, of okay. course, you'll see the Broadway musicals, uh -huh. and, uh, you know, maybe we'll have a play next year. Okay. So we haven't had a play this year. Maybe we'll have one next year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Big, uh, outstanding uh, solo artist, maybe one or two of maybe, those. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe. yeah, <laughs> okay. probably, yeah. So my prying is really not being very helpful yeah, here. We're not getting sorry. anything out of Kristen I'm here rotten. this morning. Well, uh, I can't top that moose story, so why even try, yeah, right? That's exactly it. Maybe that'll be a play next yes, year. Yes, maybe. One never knows. Um, in terms of the way that it's going to be presented for uh, showgoers, um, same basic format. Are you looking at making changes in the way that tickets are available or packages or any of those things? Well, we're probably going to be going with a new ticketing system. So there oh, might okay. be some options that are available to us that we're not even aware of yet. Mm -hmm. So tickets will still be available online, I'm certain. And, uh, you know, we're trying to keep our ticket fees as low as possible uh, and our the costs for the events as well. And, you know, we do that to try to get as many people into our venues as possible. Sure. 
And lest we think that over the summer the campus is quiet in terms of the arts, it's not. There are things happening. Oh, there are definitely things happening, and I'm hoping I'll be able to encourage some of my colleagues to come next month to talk mm -hmm. about all of the exciting things happening, especially for kids. You know, uh, footlights yeah. player, footlight players will be happening. Uh, maybe I might be able to get uh, Jeff Wacker to come in and talk about uh, remind people what's going on with kids for the community music school and adults too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to try to gear up for the the coming year yeah. of lessons so lots of stuff happening good things good things all yeah. right Kristen uh, as uh, we get you back to work today and working on the, on the things people want to know more about what's coming and what's going on in the arts at IUP what do they need to do the best way is to go to our website iup.edu slash lively arts there you go there yeah. you go Wonderful. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, AM 1160 and 101.1 FM, just about four minutes before the top of the hour.